Hi, I'm Anthony from Australian Wildlife Displays and today I want to talk to you about a very special ecosystem, very special to me because it's the, it's the ecosystem, the bushland that I grew up in. It's the Cumberland Plain woodland. I want to talk to you now about a very cool lizard from the Cumberland Plain woodland, the lace monitor. Uh, I call them lace goannas too, or just goannas, or tree goannas. And that's where they, you'll mostly find these lizards. Uh, when you disturb them, they scuttle up a tree. These are, uh, these are powerful predators. They're long, narrow neck, which is perfect for going down into tree hollows and birds' nests to raid eggs. They, uh, you can see the big long forked tongue. Great big claws, like, like talons almost. This one here is a small one. They get to two meters easily. They're great big lizards. They're very fast, fast runners, fast climbers, fast, they're good at digging as well. Very good at swimming. These are, these are really, really awesome predators and you'll find them in the Cumberland Plain woodland. Can you believe there are two types of turtles found on the, in the Cumberland Plain region? the long neck turtle and the short neck turtle. We're good at original names in Australia, aren't we? The, uh, th these are both about half grown. They get to, well, maybe sort of half as big again, if not twice as big. They, uh, y you'll see these long neck turtles crossing the road and hopefully you have rescued them. Uh, these short neck turtles you won't find crossing the road. They don't come out of the water much at all. These are, these are omnivorous too, and they all eat water plants as well as little animals as well like tadpoles and fish and, and the long neck turtles they're carnivorous so they're going to be looking around for for any little animals to eat you'll find both of these uh, these in the river and these can be in a lot of the dams around these turtles are also struggling because foxes dig their eggs up these lay their eggs hide them very well but the good sniffing nose of the fox will find them and so there's very few baby turtles hatching. This is the tawny frog mouth. It's not an owl. Don't call it an owl. They're not owls. Owls are raptors with big talons and often flat faces. These are related to night jars and they're, uh, they're, they really are the master of pretending to be a branch on a tree. And you can see their, their big eyes, they disguise by squinting. Their big, wide beak, which is why they get the name Frogmouth, because it's a big, wide mouth. Big, wide beak disguised by these unusual feathers that stick out like a mohawk. Everything about the bird is to pretend to be a branch. At night time though, very nimble in the air, flying around catching moths and insects. But in the day, a branch. Have a look at this beautiful little animal. Ringtail possum. Ringtail possums live in the Cumberland Plain woodland, but mostly down by the creeks. And they'll build their nests very close to the water, actually, quite often. They, they love these lush plants to build their drays, the big balls of sticks and leaves. This one here has got a bit of wattle in this. At the end of winter, beginning of spring, the female would have one or two joeys in a pouch. And in a few more months, they'll be coming out of the pouch to ride on it back. They're only small possums, which means they're very vulnerable to our pet cats. And we always say, please keep your cats inside and tell your neighbours to keep their cats inside as well to protect these little beautiful marsupials.